What is the human body's largest organ? It's 10% of the body's mass. Give up? It's your skin. All that surface area makes it easily exposed to hazardous agents. The result can be occupational skin disease, OSD. Let's stop it cold next. Hello, I'm Dan Clark with The Safety Brief. We take on health and safety hazards in today's demanding industrial and construction work sites, a service of Creative Safety Supply. Hey, here's a deal. Save 10% off your entire order at creativesafetysupply.com with coupon code BIG10. Workplace safety has long included procedures to protect workers from breathing hazardous agents. But dermal exposure, exposure to the skin, can cause occupational skin disease, OSD. It's the second most common type of occupational disease. OSD is caused by hazardous agents directly affecting the skin or creeping through it to wreak havoc with other body parts. Occupational skin disease can appear as irritations, such as hives and burns, allergies caused by an immune response, and cancers. This podcast focuses mostly on chemical agents that make direct contact with the skin. Occupational skin disease, though, can be caused by physical agents, such as sun exposure and hot and cold temperatures, mechanical trauma, friction, abrasions, cuts and bruises, and biological agents from plants and animals or bacteria, viruses, and parasites. What should employers do to prevent chemical exposure? Industrial hygiene, maintain a clean workplace, clean surfaces that could have residues. Personal hygiene, provide facilities for hand washing, showers, and laundry service if needed. Implement the hierarchy of hazard controls. One, substitute safer substances. Take hazardous ones out of the workplace. Two, engineer jobs to limit exposure. For example, can you automate a process to avoid chemical handling by employees? Three, administrative controls. Rotate jobs to reduce any one worker's exposure to chemicals. Four, PPE, personal protective equipment. Provide appropriate gloves, boots, masks, and other items. Note that I listed this last. PPE is the last line of defense. If an employee has symptoms and you or a doctor believe the problem could be work-related, see if other workers have symptoms. Examine the employee's tasks and see what substances they work with. Look at the safety data sheets for the chemicals for warnings and precautions. That's all for this episode, Occupational Skin Disease Stopped Cold. Join me again for more ways to stay safety compliant in today's always changing landscape of safety requirements. I'm Dan Clark of The Safety Brief, a service of Creative Safety Supply. Save 10% off your entire order at creativesafetysupply.com. The coupon code is BIG10.